Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome to Templates Validation. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set the data exchange requirements in SimplePIM templates and how your IFC data can be validated against them. Validation is a very powerful feature in SimplePIM. It will let you know the data exchange requirements of the receiver and guide you to create high quality IFC files very effectively. The data requirements are set in the validation tab of the template. Open a template either by creating a new one, copying an existing one, or if you have already created the training template, click to edit it in Excel. In the validation tab, there are three basic requirements you can set. First, the object class. If there are some object classes the receiving application requires, set those classes here. I put in only walls for now. Note that you can find the object class name from the object palette or some sample templates. Second, there's required properties. The property names can be found from the properties palette. You can even copy them so that you can be sure that you don't misspell them. Note here that you may set property requirement without setting the object class requirement uh, to a certain object class. If I take away the object class requirement, then the construction type for walls is only validated if there are walls in the model. If not, then no error is reported. Third option is to validate the properties against certain set of allowed values. This can be useful, for example, for checking that the space names or construction types used in the model are as required in the project. This way the data comes much more reliable. Also, meeting the allowed values will in many cases allow the receiver automate its processes. Note that you can set the values to a different cells like this, or if you have them in one cell, then use the separator like this. Now let's save our template. Open a model and run the template to it. Note that only the requirements are applied to the model and the validation starts working. No editing was done if you had not defined any rules for automatic editing. For example, if you want to exclude all the other object classes than the required, then you would need to add this rule to the template. We will look in more details to the model view tab in a dedicated movie. For now, let's run the template and see how it looks now. Okay, better. Finally, let's see how the real-time validation works. In my sample model, I have several errors in my data. First of all, there aren't any values for the construction type. Let's fix this in the property editor. Ok, now it's better, but there still are some walls which don't have value, so let's add value for them. Finally, let's fix the values which are not allowed. Note that the plus icon marks values which are allowed, but not used in the model yet. The values with the green check icon are used in the model and are valid, and the red values are not allowed, but are used in the model. Ok, the validation passes. Back in the trimmer, I can see that there are many unnecessary properties included in the model. You should exclude them, cause any unnecessary data can cause unnecessary problems. Finally, if you exclude the walls, you will see that we get an error in the object palette. This is the same as if the IFC file didn't have walls in the first place. That we couldn't fix in the simple PIM, but this we can. So I drag and drop the walls back to the included packet and I'm good to go. That's how you set requirements in the simple PIM templates and use them for validating your IFC data. Please check the other tutorials to learn more about templates and other features of simple PIM. Thank you for watching.